cases are on the rise in Chittenden County. NBC 5's Sib Bule spoke with Vermont's Department of Health today about what you need to know to keep you and your family, including those four-legged members of your family, safe. This year has brought a big uptick in rabies cases in Chittenden County. So from Chittenden County or the greater Burlington area, we may see one or two positives every year. Natalie Quitt says 10 animals were infected between July and early October in the county. All were raccoons and skunks. We always see rabies throughout the state. This is an area where we least expect it. But the health department doesn't know what's causing the recent spike. It could be a reintroduction of, of rabies into the area, um, and now it's circulating among those animals that have not eaten vaccine baits and so therefore don't have some protection against rabies. Um, so, but, but in short, we don't know. Quit says they haven't seen any pets infected this year and have never seen a rabies case in a person. We hope to keep it that way. We're very lucky in that um, we've never had a human case of rabies in the state. In order to keep you and your pets safe, be on the lookout for animals behaving strangely. Report wildlife that is overly aggressive or lethargic and even those attracted to bright lights and people. In most cases, it's safe to let your pets outside especially if you have an enclosed yard um, and, you know, they're not kind of left alone all day, um, particularly if they're vaccinated for rabies, um, it's very safe to let your animal outdoors. Quit says it's a good idea to keep pets on a leash when out walking and to always feed them inside. Don't feed your pet outdoors or feed uh, or leave food outdoors because that could attract wildlife. If you see an animal that you think could be rabid, call the number on your screen to report it to the Vermont Rabies Hotline. Reporting Sid Bule, NBC5 News.